Howdy to all my friends on FoodTube, Danny here. So today I'm back in the Abel and Cole kitchens and it's all about kale. I just got given this great box, this fantastic kale. It's in season, it's a winter veg, and I'm here with my mate Mike Keane from Ipswich, a wonderful chef. Today he's gonna to show me how to make, and show you as well, most importantly, kale and chestnut soup. How are you, Mike? Fantastic, thanks, Dan. Uh, kale, especially the organic stuff, can be quite gritty or muddy, as you can see there. Okay. So you want to wash it in plenty, plenty of nice fresh cold water, plenty of salted water in here, almost on the boil. Just chuck it all in there. Yep. And that's going to take between five and ten minutes to cook down, and we'll cook it a bit more in the soup anyway. So um, yeah, give it a good five minutes in there. Mm -hmm. And then straight into a colander, drain all that all, uh, the, the uh, liquor off. Yeah, keep the liquor because that okay. can be used in the soup at the end. So you must keep it all that, everything that the cows get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, that, all those nutrients will come out in the water. Yeah. And we'll chuck that back in the soup at the end. Okay. okay. Onions are nicely sweated off now, you can see in there they're, start, they're pretty much translucent, pretty much see through. Yep. Nice bit of caramelisation going on there. So, garlic and the rosemary. Mm -hmm. All there. Yep. Okay, you can see the rosemary and the garlic. Nice and good. Smells great. Smells great. Yeah, they're really good. Really nice. Right, chestnuts in next. Okay. Just take it off the edge. Excuse me. Okay. Yep. That's all in there. Okay, chestnuts are in. Just going to add the wine and then chop the kale. And while that's cooking away, we're going to strain the kale. Yep. So what I have here is a bowl to keep all that lovely, that lovely juice. Yep. Right, chop the kale. Right. Just bunch that up a bit. Just going to chop this again. It doesn't have to be perfect or totally fine, but you've always got to bear in mind the end product. And we're going to blitz some of this soup. But some of it's going to be left whole, so what you don't want people to do, be doing is having big bits of kale on their spoons, which makes it all to eat. So that is all ready to go in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Just scoop that up, and that goes straight in the pan, like so. Stir that around. I'm just going to cook it off for about five minutes, just so all those flavours are incorporated and nicely mixed through. Uh, and remember that liquor we saved from, drink, from cooking the kale? Yep. It's there. Fantastic. It's like stock. It is like stock. Yeah. Now, those people will just chuck that down the sink, but if you have a little taste of that, then okay. just have a little snifter of that. It's like cabbage water. It is like cabbage water. water. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, can you can taste that kale flavour in there. So rather than just use water that, that most people put yeah. into the soup. Or stock use. Just, to, or stock Could use. you just, just stock use that for? Oh, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah just look at it. Then you'll be fine. Yeah. But this is keeping it real. Yeah. This is the um, using, get, straining every last ounce out of all that, um, all that lovely kale. Okay. I want to put all of it in. Let's put a little bit in and we can save that at the back just in case we need to top up. Okay, soup's been going on for about seven or eight minutes now. Looking really good. Everything's gone soft in there, which is great. And what we'll do is have a quick taste now to see where we are with it. Yep. Just. Mm. You haven't put any salt in yet. The pancetta is, is, is already been salted. Yep. So that, you know, that will leach out into the soup and um, add its own salt bit. We'll need a little bit, I think, at the end. Okay. Now, time being, we want a fairly chunky soup here. Yep. And we're going to blitz it in a sec. And we're going to blitz it in a sec. Um, so I think we need to add a little bit more of this liquor. Okay. Because when you blitz it, it will dry up a little bit. Okay, it's ready to be blitzed. Just a little hand blender. Yep. Just needs literally a couple of seconds. Ready to serve up. If I start serving, I did notice that you brought some fantastic food. Thanks for noticing, Mike. It is good bread indeed. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is a fantastic loaf of bread made by some really fantastic people in East London. It's called the Better Health Bakery. It's a social enterprise that helps challenge people. And on my channel, we're going to go and visit these guys to see how they make this great bread. But it looks absolutely delicious. Fantastic. OK, 
Okay, ready to go. And we've got the little bits of pancetta I reserved earlier. Mm -hmm. Some parmesan and some olive oil just to splash on the top of that. Just to wipe the edge of the plate a little bit. Yep. There you go. So just put some of that on. Just a little chefy. Yeah. Nice. And what sort of cheese is it like? This is Parmesan, Reggiano. Okay, we're ready. Here's your spoon. Fantastic. That's a soup, dig in. Really, very, very good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest, it's not the best looking soup that I've ever seen, but the taste and the flavour, the pancetta, the cheese, the Parmigiano, everything is fantastic. Good. I'd say that's a compliment. It's a big compliment. <laughs> good. The good news too is kale, organic from Abel and Cole, full of nutrients, easy to cook. I hope you cook this at home as well. I certainly am going to give it a go. Yeah. Impress my friends at some dinner party. Oh, you never know. I might do that, Mike. <laughs> so there you go. Kale and chestnut soup with my mate Mike from Ipswich. Lovely chap here at Abel and Cole. If you've got any comments or questions about this recipe, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for lots more recipes and more of me and special people like Mike.